Hi, Patrick. Thanks for joining me for this interview. Thank you very much for inviting me. You're one of the organizers of the SFS Con, a conference here in South Tyrol. Um, it's been being organized by TIS. Tell me a bit more about you and TIS. TIS Innovation Park is an organization created by our government to foster innovation in our micro uh, companies. We have very small companies in South Tyrol and we want to help them to do more research and development. Therefore, the government has created the TIS Innovation Park to support innovation projects done by the companies. What is your role at TIS? I'm responsible for the Free Software and Open Technologies Center, which is a competence center which manages all the ICT projects, all the research and development projects with IT. And uh, we called it Free Software and Open Technologies because we understood that uh, free software gives us a clear framework with clear rules to to promote cooperation amongst all the companies and research centers and provides a platform to create uh, motivation and to create innovation in our region. And this conference is a mean for you to market open source? Yes, this conference uh, this year was the, the 10th edition of the conference and we started it as a marketing to To, in 2001, nearly nobody knew about open source and free software, so we wanted to foster knowledge about this uh, methodology, model. And now it has become a kind of end-of-the-year conference where all our companies and experts from around the world come to Bolzano and, and uh tell about their experiences, their projects, so an end of the year session, and then we give networking opportunities to think about future innovation projects. So do you think you have been able to change the awareness uh, about open source here in South Tyrol? Yes, for sure. The, I see every year uh, the growth of the awareness in the industry, in the companies which understand how to use free software as a tool for research and development and in the government as well. This year was very important because we were talking a lot about open government and open data and you see really you feel the change in the, men that in the mentality of the people talking and they understand that opening Uh, means collaboration opportunities and means growth for everyone. Is there a pattern you see that first it's companies adopting open source and at the end it's administration or am I wrong? Well, there is a mix. So we have uh, we have some pioneers in South Tyrol. For example, the company, public company, managing all the public transportation in South Tyrol, migrated to GNU Linux in '93. If you consider that uh, Linux, the project mm. started in '91, they are really pioneers in this. Cool. At the other hand, uh, we see that startups started in 2003, full free software startups like uh, Endian. Endian Firewall is a free software product, appliance based on free software. They started in 2003. And now in 2011, we see a lot of companies, we see the universities promoting free software uh, among the Faculty of Information Technologies and we see the government opening, especially in the field of GIS systems. Uh, this morning at the conference, which has just ended, we had a politician from South Tyrol say that open source is very important to this region uh, in regard to innovating. Um, can you say a few words about that? Yes, our Minister for Innovation, which is also Minister for Information Technology, and that's very positive for us, Roberto Bizzo, uh, he understood and he gave the message today that free software gives us this opportunity to distribute knowledge among all the companies and create a platform to foster cooperation. Cool, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much.